This episode has been brought to you by JustInform.com. If you're tired of being censored, tired of having your data stolen and sold, go to JustInform.com, a social media site where all voices are welcome. Celebrate good times, come on. Doom, 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 doom. So as if we haven't already got enough good news over the last two or three weeks with Bernie Sanders pretty much announcing that he's running for office. Um, Tulsi Gabbard tonight just said that she will be making her official announcement that she will be running for president in 2020. And we here at the MCSC Network are officially batting a thousand once again because told you i told you it was coming i told you bernie endorsed hillary be- oh excuse me um i told you that bernie endorsed hillary because uh or he suspended the rules to endorse her and didn't fight as much as we would have liked to because he would have been screwed they would have already demonized him you've already seen some of the headlines they're trying to associate with his campaign like bernie's there, there was a sexual harassment issue which by the way happens in every single campaign but it only gets highlighted in bernie's campaign and surprise surprise it's only getting highlighted during the presidential season right around the time he's announcing his presidential run so that is what he didn't want to have to deal with for two years in between his next presidential uh run i knew he was going to run tulsi gabbard well i mean i knew she was going to run for a different reason but we told you and i'm happy I am thrilled. Tulsi Gabbard, to me, represents evolution, political evolution. So if Bernie Sanders was political was a political revolution, Tulsi Gabbard is political evolution. She used to be on the conservative side, right? She used to be a, a right-ish wing centrist Christian of a Democrat because that was her family background. However, after spending time in the military, after deploying and seeing what combat is really uh, what really like, what these uh, Middle Eastern quagmires are really about, she changed her politics. When she had an opportunity to go the way of Bernie Sanders and in some 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 would say kneel to the establishment, Tulsi Gabbard gave up her VP position on the chair on the DNC uh, committee. She was going to be vice chair. She gave up her funding from the Democratic Party. In fact, the Democratic Party tried to run numerous candidates against her. Uh, for all intents and purposes, her career should have come to a screeching halt because that is what the Democratic Party tried to do when she announced that she was going to back Bernie Sanders unapologetically, and she refused to back Hillary Clinton. When it was the unpopular thing to do, Tulsi Gabbard still decided to do the right thing. You don't see that very often in politics. Um, If you ask me right now, who would I vote for? My personal vote. I would personally vote for Tulsi Gabbard over Bernie Sanders in a close primary race. Now, the reason why is because Tulsi has conviction. Now, Tulsi Gabbard is not perfect. Her and Bernie both have a long ways to go when it comes to foreign policy, in my opinion. I think that they're both naive in some ways, whereas Tulsi is is incredibly accurate when it comes to most of the Middle East. When it comes to a few of the destinations, Tulsi still has some some growing to do as far as her her advocacy uh, or at least her tangential advocacy for regime change in Myanmar um, for her support of some Indian leadership. She has to evolve on that, but I believe she can because she showed us that when the right information is presented to her and she is given everything and the people have spoken, she will go the way that the people tell her to go. That's, which is all I can really ask for in a candidate. I don't want perfection. None of us do, I don't think. We don't expect it. It's unrealistic. But Tulsi has shown that in the face of adversity, in the face of corruption, she will stand up to that corruption. She called Donald Trump a bitch. Called him Saudi Arabia's bitch because that's what he has been. Can't stand up to corruption any more than that because 
She stands up with her words. She stands up with her actions. Like she expected other people. She said, we need to reevaluate Syria. So she took it upon herself to go there and find out exactly what was happening. And look what resulted because of it, people. Tulsi is about action. So I'm not telling you which way to vote and which way not to vote. It's not what I'm saying. I'm telling you that if it came down to Tulsi and Bernie, I would vote for Tulsi because... As much as I love Bernie, she fights corruption. In the face of adversity, when her career was on the line, very, very, very similar to Bernie Sanders. I'm not knocking Bernie, but this is just a plus for Tulsi. When her career was on the line, she made the very, very tough decision to say, you know what? If my career has to be entrenched in complicity and corruption, you can have it. I'm still going to back Bernie Sanders. I'm still going to back Medicare for All. I'm still going to go speak to Assad. I'm still going to advocate for pulling out of Syria. I'm still going to call out Saudi Arabia. I'm still going to go on Joe Rogan and other independent media because that's what the people want. So Tulsi Gabbard, you already know. You absolutely have my vote. And I hope she has yours too. Thanks for watching that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. You can donate to our Patreon and keep helping the network grow by clicking on the link in the description below. And also, make sure you join us at justinform.com. And finally, make sure you subscribe to us on Roku and be part of the very first independent news network on Roku TV. But more than anything else, always remember, find your balance. Peace.